Uh, welcome back, everybody. There's Natalie. And who are you playing with there for people who don't know? My uncle, Buddy McMaster. Buddy McMaster, a legend. Yes. A legend. Was he um, kind of your inspiration growing up? Welcome, by the way. Natalie oh, McMaster is hey. here. Everybody. It's been a long time since I've seen you. That's right. You know, I, I remember when uh, Natalie, her, your career first started going, and yeah. I was doing a morning show back in Halifax, yeah. and you were on that a bunch of times, yes. as were many members of your family and, yeah. and you know, Cape Breton musicians. So Buddy McMaster, yeah. your uncle, yeah. and uh, he kind of, he got a lot of you guys into the music, did he not? Like, yeah, you, you well, would look at Buddy and go, you know what, I, I, I want to play like him. That's right, I want to play like him. Yeah. Buddy never, um, you know, in Cape Breton anyway, he never taught too much, maybe a little bit, but it was more that he played so much. Yeah. Like, he was playing everywhere. Everywhere he went. And I don't know how he did it. Yeah. Like, the amount of stamina that he had, Yeah. I couldn't come close. But it all starts in the kitchen, doesn't it? Well, it starts at home, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it really yeah. does, yeah. In, in Cape Breton especially. Yeah. And I know uh, you, you must be quite pleased at uh, calling this uh, latest CD Cape Breton Girl. Mm -hmm. That means a lot to you, I bet, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, That's nice. Any Cape Breton is up there? <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize what great things you have in your world until you're away from them. Yes. You know? Now, I was telling everybody that the last <clears throat> time I saw you, you had one daughter, right? That's correct. And that was six years ago. <laughs> that was six years ago, and now you got number five coming. Number five oh coming right here. Hey, baby, Play. baby. So, yeah, what was your first daughter's name? Mary Frances. Mary Frances, I met when yep. she was just a baby, right? Yep. And now who do you have? Who else? So, Mary Frances is six, Michael is four, Claire is three, and Julia is one. And, uh, do and you know is, what's I'm due in, in there? August, and I don't know what's in there, but you it's don't? a fiddler. It's a fiddler. <laughs> And your husband is a musical man, right? My husband is the lead fiddler for Leahy. Yeah, you guys know Leahy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you guys have been married for a long time now. Ten years. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good for you. We live on a farm, just where, built where, a new home. Well, do you, where? In Duro, which is about 20 minutes outside of Peterborough. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, so you're not far from here. I'm, oh, really. I'm three hours away. Yeah, and, and they're coming kinda, tonight. They're coming it, tonight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is that right? Coming to the yeah. show tonight. Yeah. So that kind of keeps you centralized, right? Mm -hmm. So you can get to Toronto to get flights to wherever you're going. Because I noticed I was looking at your, your tweets and you were playing in, uh, what, Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh Symphony three days ago, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, for five nights we played with them. And How cool was that? It was great. Yeah? Really great. I was just impressed to be in one hotel room for five days. <laughs> wow. And you could just walk down the road to the... Are you playing as much as you used to? I mean, you've been you've been busy with the kids, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I in, <clears throat> got into homeschooling and all sorts of stuff that keeps me home. Um, I do about 90 shows a year. I used to do 250, yeah. so... That's a piece of cake, man. Yeah, 90. Wait, wait, you got four kids and, and another on the way. It's, I wouldn't say it's a piece of cake. It's a different type. Who looks after the kids all the time? Is it you? And well, it just depends on the... Who's, who's it's where? It always varies. Like, one of one of us, one yeah. of either Janelle or I, depending if he's on tour and I'm on tour at the same time, we both bring a couple. You know, if, if, uh, if, I, if, it's, if I have to get a lot of schooling done, I'll yeah. take all of them. Um, you know, it just depends. <laughs> and, you know, we're growing. So last year I only had three. This now, Christmas I had four. How many kids were in your family growing up? I have two older brothers. Two older brothers. But your husband's family is big. Eleven. Eleven siblings. Eleven kids. Yeah. So you were kind of in the middle. I'm in the middle almost. Right? Are you, gonna, are you stopping at five? Oh, stop. No, you're not. We don't think like that. No, I know. Just let her go. Oh, whatever happens, happens. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in love. That's right. <laughs> yeah, now, how many, uh, you did some new tunes on here, hey? Yep. I like new the one. old. Yeah. But d you, did you write My Brother Kevin? No, that's my brother, though, and obviously. and uh, Somebody else wrote it? And No, it's not a tune. It's just a title of the track. There's oh, okay. about five old tunes. The tunes are crazy. Yeah. Like, the tune titles are nuts so you don't call things by these names you know um Tara bolton lodge uh stone um senad cued blahaven something <laughs> gaelic gaelic like like you know the lasses of stewart and miss gordon of fab right so you just attach you know? <laughs> so you don't i don't call them that i just kind of so kevin played with me on that track so yes. I, I got him to I just oh this is the one we listen to now that's yep. your brother, Kevin. He's playing electric guitar. Oh, is he? 
And he played on the a lot on the CD? Uh, just that track. Just that track? He doesn't play anymore. It was actually like pulling teeth to get him What's to do What's he do? It, uh, he works for the power company in uh, power commission in, in Cape Breton. Yeah. Yep. My other brother worked for the mill for years and they shut it down. So he's making trips to Calgary and working out uh, there. Yeah, uh, uh, Fort McMurray. And in Fort McMurray, yeah. little, little Newfoundland, little Cape Breton yes, out there. Yeah, he's up there doing that and then coming home to his wife and three kids every two weeks. Yeah, and he's not alone. A lot of people are doing I know. that because yeah. there's no work home and that's yeah. what they do. I know. They love to work, eh? The Cape Breton well, and the Well, you have to. Yeah. You, know, you got to pay the bills. That's right. Uh, you're going to stick around and play a tune for us, would you? Well, that's apparently the plan. Well. So. And oh, you played the NAC last night and tonight and tomorrow night too. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Three With shows. the orchestra. Yes, and I have to tell you, they are high, high end orchestra. They are. Oh, we we've been playing with a lot of orchestras, and they're so excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Natalie's going to stick around. Would you mind taking the golden pen and signing oh. a copy of your CD, and someone in the audience is going to win it. And you get a chance. I got to, it. Yeah, yeah, get a chance to meet Natalie here. All right, we're gonna head uh, back out to Sarah Freemark, who's at Don's uh, Meat Shop this morning, getting some meat for the Barbie. Sarah. <laughs>